what's up guys welcome back to my channel so this is for aquarius sun moon rising and venus for the month of september if you guys want a monthly reading um or sorry a general reading <laughs> look in the description box below um check out my website if not then just email me and my email is in the description box below as well all right so let's just get into it so the overall energy of the month you guys pulled the sun the beginning of the month you guys got the three of swords the middle of the month you guys got the five of swords the end of the month you guys got the ace of cups and the energy to focus on you guys pulled the five of wands Clarifying all these cards. Clarifying the sun. You guys got the Knight of Wands. Clarifying the Three of Swords. You guys got the Seven of Pentacles. Clarifying the Five of Swords. You guys got the Fool. Clarifying the Ace of Cups. You guys got the King of Pentacles. And clarifying the Five of Wands. You guys got the High Priestess. Alright. So you guys pulled the sun with the Knight of Wands. So the sun, the sun means like enlightenment. The sun means healing. Um, the sun represents healing. The sun represents joy, abundance, happiness, love. And with the Knight of Wands, it speaks of advancement into the unknown. So I feel like you're advancing into something that you don't know, um, but it will give you love and contentment and um, liberation. And just make you feel like you're flying high so yeah that's the energy of the month you're moving towards the Sun you're moving towards light you're moving towards healing love joy all that so the beginning of the month you guys pulled the three of swords with the seven of Pentacles Swords speaks of like third party situations. Um, some kind of like sadness. Um, people being distracted by someone else. Diversion, delays. And then with the Seven of Pentacles, it talks of. Um, you know it being uneasy but it's showing like hard work and successful like getting out of it successfully or like progressing through successfully through these through the sorrow through the disappointments in the middle of the month you guys got the five of swords with the fool so the fool i'm sorry let's beginnings and stuff like that but the five of swords talks about conquest or like defeating something um or getting over some type of weakness for a new beginning Ooh, that's the middle of the, of the month so y'all are trying to defeat or y'all are defeating a like a, a weakness or something like that maybe it's like a a mental weakness or something physical something that's making you weak physically but you're dropping those burdens you're cutting that out because of a new beginning you're dropping the bag so that you can go towards in your new beginning so the end of the month y'all pulled the ace 
Ace of Cups with the King of Pentacles. So the Ace of Cups represents fulfillment, great abundance. And the King of Pentacles speaks of someone that's a successful leader um, a person of character and somebody that's loyal loyal and like marriage material basically like your marriage material here like you got it you got it to get you understand like you get it you get you got it together and this what I feel like it's something that's coming in I feel like it's like some goodness coming in some type of love something fulfilling and it's making you feel like this so whatever feelings it is that you have about like some type of abundance some type of love it's making you feel like a man like a grown-ass man or woman you know what i'm saying you're feeling loyal like you're you're a loyal person you know you're a loyal person you feel like you know your marriage material you know you're business savvy you got it together you know what i'm saying so yeah, that's the energy. That's the end of the month. Like that's what you're going to be going through at the end of the month. That's lit. And um, what to watch out for? What to focus on? You guys pulled the Five of Wands with the High Priestess. Now the Five of Wands speaks of struggle. Um, problems something that's complex and the high priestess is a wise person she's a wise woman the high priestess knows what's up and if she needs to cut something she will um, she removes emotion when need be um, she remains objective she's not biased and she uses her common sense. She doesn't let nothing like walk all over her or anybody walk all over her. So that's what to that's the energy to focus on. If there are any struggles, use your wisdom. As if there are any strife, use your wisdom to get through it. Rely on yourself and be fair to yourself. You know what I'm saying? And be fair to others. Like know when you're being fair and when you're not being fair. Okay? So yeah, that's the energy for this month. I love you guys and I'll talk to you later.